sit your ass down and sit your ass down. Sit your five dollar ass down for me. And sit your ass down. Yes! It's that time of the week where we sit down and we give people everything they deserve for everything they done did. Some people who get a little lost in their own sauce start buying their own hype. We got a tap on the shoulder. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, sir. We don't need you to sit your ass down. Now, I don't know what it is lately about entire corporations jumping in to sit your ass down. And I like this place. I don't have a beef with this place. However, they meet the criteria. First sit your ass this week. First sit your ass down this week. Go to the worldwide leader, ESPN. Now, last week we all saw the Zion Williams of it all, Zion Williamson of it all, my man running down there, down the court, and his brand new pair of Nike shoes exploded. That's the best way I can sum up what happened. They exploded. Well, they fell apart. He was wearing shoes at the top of the key. He got to the free throw line. He was not wearing shoes on no more. So whatever happened, but not ESPN. We know why you paid your money. ESPN this week could be the most ESPN thing, the hype train, the LeBron James of it all, the the uh, decision of it all, uh, the the uh, the overhypeness that they do sometimes, and what ESPN did, Zion Cam. Are you fucking serious? So those who don't know what Zion Cam is, since Zion Williamson, after the shoe sh shoe explosion, he actually hurt himself. He he um messed his uh, ankle up, sprung his ankle, and they said possibly a groin thing. Either way, he's sitting out of game. But not not. Mm mm. Mm mm. Not ESPN. Zion Cam. Zion Cam is when you sit down and they got the camera on whatever he's doing. But the problem with Zion Cam is he watching the game just like we watching the game. So there's a two screen experience of another man watching the game. And there's dedicated people commenting on how he's watching the thing that we are watching. Are you fucking serious? No, I'm talking about Zion Cam. ESPN, I know y'all like overhyping an athlete or two. Now, we all know how I feel about LeBron James of it all. We all know, but the overhypeness of the decision and all this. But Zion Cam, man, sit y'all ass down. And this, 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 this is starting to become a trend. Like last week, we talked about Jussie, how he's a first ballot Jussie Jussie how he's 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 going to be in the conversation of sit your ass down for the year there's another person who will make sit your ass down for the year not because of an instance but of the volume the sheer volume of this person next sit your ass down last one of the week Ariana Grande just two. For the most part, everybody was on a on a P's and Q's this week. But Ariana Grande. Why is Ariana Grande? Ah, if I could talk. Ariana Grande. Why is she back and sitting your ass down? Just when you think Ariana Grande couldn't get more Ariana Grande. And at first, she wasn't supposed to go and sit your ass down. But at the closer examination, you're going. Ariana Grande responds... To the backlash of the Mon Manchester Pride backlash. Now, since being announced, she's the headliner for this year's Manchester Pride Festival. 
It's a pop megastar, Ariana Grande, has been facing some backlash. She want to do Manchester because, hey, it is what it is. Of what happened with her and the shooting and the thing, and that makes sense. Manchester is like your second home because both y'all went through a traumatic experience. However, the Manchester Pride Festival, the LGBTQ lineup, they like. Yeah, no, because, and it's their prerogative, they said, hey, if we're going to have someone headlining our festival, we would like one of these people to fall in one of these categories, LGBTQ. You are none of those. No. She's none of those. So they like you headlining, and the reason she's getting this backlash is because not only did she's headlining, because of her status. But her brother is gay. She ain't. Here's the thing. Her brother is gay, so she is. She, she does support the LGBTQ. Mm -hmm. Her brother is gay, so she does support. Okay, she so. Alright, let me break something down for you. That's like me saying this. Woody Harrelson is hosting the BET Awards. Now, Woody Harrelson may love the BET Awards. Woody Harrelson may rocks with a lot of the BET Award people. That don't mean you should be doing it. Even when the people of that group is saying, no, you straight. And there's a secondary reason. Not just because she doesn't fit in the category of LGBTQ. She's a super pop star in Manchester, especially after this tragedy, and they're going through Brexit. Her very appearance doubled ticket prices. So if I'm trying to buy a ticket and I ain't got no money, you on the bill, nah, I can't go. So you mean to tell me I'm an LGBTQ person and I can't even go to the thing that's celebrating me because you want to host it? Sit your ass down. Pick another festival. Coachella's right around the corner. Lollapalooza, get that shit started back up. No, but the promoters are like, hey, why don't you take a back seat now? Now, nah, because the fans, the promoters are now like, hey, you know, and after the second thought, let's take a back seat. But, and I quote, see, I don't come to these half cocked. I don't come without the paper in front of me. And I quote, the Thank You Next singer went on to say that she has a very special connection with both the LGBT community and the city of Manchester, which is true. You talked about her brother, and you talked about, well, the tragedy that would happen. And she wanted to celebrate both of these relationships with her performance. Quote, I want to celebrate and support a community regardless, regardless of my identity. And or how people label me. End quote. That's like me saying, well, I'm just going to shove this down your throat now. Hey, Sam McClain, me. I will be hosting the... That's like me. I am me. I am a loud shit talker. I will be hosting... The American Sign Language Awards. Those are not my people. But I know a couple people that's deaf. So, you know. Ariana Grande. I get it. I understand. With the whole Manchester thing, I, and I get that. If you want to make your own thing and you want to hold a, 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 a cel not, I don't want to say celebratory, but a remembrance, a tribute, uh, something like that, that's cool. But don't try to cash in and try to manufacture a gay audience because they help ticket sales. So for right now, just pick your festivals. And for right now, let's sit your ass down. So that's